hello hi welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make your basic skirt pattern which is what you need to make various skirt designs i personally like using it to make the bottom half of a dress that has a waist seam as opposed to using the bottom of your body's pattern for that at the end of this video i'll be showing you how to trace the pattern so that you can make various manipulations on it so go ahead and grab your full attention as well as your materials but before you go, have a look at the subscription button below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a like if you want to see more of this kind of videos from me. And also drop me a comment if you have a question or two in the comment section. Alright then, let's get drafting already. My name is Ijoma and welcome to my sewing diary. The materials you will need are your long ruler, your measurement sheet, a pencil, I'm only using markers in this case so that my lines are visible. You'll also need a short ruler, calculator, curved ruler, tracer wheel, measurement tape, pins and pattern papers. I'll leave the list in the description box below and will also leave the link for my video on how to take measurements in the description box. So get a square piece of pattern paper whose width is larger than your hip width and fold into two to create a crease line and then outline the crease line with your long ruler and pencil. Mark two inches down from the top edge of your paper and roll across the width of your paper. This is your top line. From the top line, mark down your desired skirt length, bearing in mind that this is your basic skirt pattern and your subsequent skirts will be created from this pattern. I use a somewhat midi length of 28 inches. Roll with a straight line across your paper to form your bottom line. Mark one quarter of your hip measurement on each side of the center crease line at the top and bottom lines. Connect both points with a straight ruler at the left and right hand side. These lines created will be your center back on the left hand side and center front on the right hand side. Mark 8 inches down for the top line and roll across. This is your hip line. I will be making my calculations at the bottom of the pattern for easy reference as usual. The first thing you will need to calculate is your waist reduction. And this is gotten by subtracting half your waist measurement from half your hip measurement and then dividing the result by 2. My calculation gave me 2.75. You will need to distribute your waist reduction at the crease line to form your side hip. So first mark 2 inches up from your hip line on your center crease line and then further divide your waist reduction by 2 and distribute your answer on either sides of the center crease line. Join these points to the 2 inch mark below with your short ruler. Next, you'll need to calculate your front and back center dart lines. Now, I like to use the same as my basic bodice pattern so that whenever I'm sewing a dress, the center dart lines will match. So for the front, divide your bust band measurement by 2. And for the back, Divide your across back measurements by 4. From your center front and center back, mark in the corresponding figures on the top and bottom line and connect with your long ruler. On each center dart line, mark 2 inches up from your hip line. 
You will then need to calculate your front and back dart division from your waist reduction measurement. For your back, this will be two thirds of your waist reduction figure. And for your front, this will be one third of your waist reduction figure. Since you'll be distributing these on either sides of the center dart line, you will need to further divide your answers by two and distribute on either sides of the dart line. So for example, for my back, two thirds of my waist reduction was approximately two inches. Dividing this by two again gives me one inch to distribute on either sides of the back dart line. Connect these points to the two inch mark on both sides. Labeling where your center back and center front lines touch the top line as A and B, extend the center back and center front lines upwards. On the left hand side, you will need to calculate the difference between your center back to floor and side waist to floor measurement. If your side waist to floor measurement is longer, mark the difference below A and mark above A if your side waist to floor measurement is shorter. Mine was longer, so I marked above. On the right hand side, calculate the difference between your side waist to floor and center front to floor measurements. If your side waist to floor measurement is longer, mark the difference below B and mark above B if shorter. Mine was longer, so I marked below. Extend the mark above or below point B inwards by three inches and then fold your dart on the right hand side and draw a line from the three inch mark to the front side hip. Reinforce the closed dart with your tracer wheel and measure the distance between the side hip and center front with the closed dart. Release the closed dart and outline the traced mark. On the left hand side, close the dart and connect the point above or below A to the side waist with a line. Reinforce the closed dart with your tracer wheel and also measure the distance between your side waist and your center back. Adding both distances from the front and back and multiplying by 2 should give you your waist measurement plus or minus 0.5 inches. Go ahead and outline your trace marks and extend your dart lines where needed. Mark half the distance on your side hip on both sides and go out by 1 8 inch. Connect these points above and below with your curved ruler like so. And there you have it, you've completed your front and back basic skirt pattern. The front pattern is all inclusive of the center front, waist, side, hem and embedded dart like so, while the back is made up of the side, waist, center back, hem and embedded dart like so. To trace the pattern, fold your basic skirt pattern paper so that your center front and center back are edges of your paper. On the paper you will be tracing on, mark 1 inch in from the left edge of the paper and roll down the length. Place your center back of your basic skirt pattern on the 1 inch line and pin in place. I find it easier to trace with fabric underneath so that I don't have to wear the paper out with my tracer wheel, but you can trace without as well. So go over your back skirt pattern like so. Capturing all lines from the side to the waist, to the dart lines, to the hem and to the hip line. There will not be any need capturing the center back line since it's on the one inch mark. Fill for puncture holes underneath the paper to make sure that you've captured all and then remove paint. Place your center front on the other edge of your paper and pin in place and then trace all lines as you did the back, filling underneath for puncture holes when you're done and reinforcing areas where you do not fill the puncture holes. Remove pins when you're done. After tracing, use your pencil and ruler to go over the puncture holes like so.
And there you have it, your traced skirt pattern ready for manipulations. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to see how I've made different styles of skirts with this basic skirt pattern. So until next time, be good. See ya!